Hey everybody, so we've done quite a few stoves. Now mostly they've been liquid fuel stoves. So um, ethanol, methanol, paraffin, diesel, that sort of thing. Now a lot of people have a lot of problem with liquid fuel because you know, if you spill it, you've basically got a running flame zipping towards your curtains and I can understand that. I quite like solid fuel. So I quite like sticks and bits of old wood and of course we work with a lot of that stuff so we have a lot of that stuff kicking around and there's plenty of places you can go and pick up some dead sticks. So I was thinking, okay, it'd be really useful if we could make an easy to make stove that burnt wood sticks efficiently. Now of course there's lots of those, they're your usual bean can rocket stove but I thought I would challenge myself a little bit and see if we could make that out of stuff around the house that people could make. So I've collected a few bits together. This is a toilet roll holder. So we've got a toilet roll holder, a couple of cake tins, these are loaf tins. We've got a couple of loaf tins. These things are drinking straws. They're actually stainless steel drinking straws that you can buy in the pound shop. It's a pound for four. And then I've got a cookie tray. So we're gonna use a cookie tray and then finally, this old pan that I drilled out for, oh hey, it was a, a, a flame device of some kind or other absolutely ages ago. So I'm going to see if I can turn that collection of junk into a usable stove that will use sticks. Okay, first things first, let's bend this. Okay, so one goes on top, one goes underneath. That's the ash pan, that's the burn pan. So a chimney hole in here and a door in there so we can feed the sticks in. Now I have a bit of this, this is strapping, it's used in building for holding timbers together and I'm going to make a circle out of this, now if you don't have any of this, you don't want to make a circle out of it, then you're going to have to drill holes in the bottom of here, because this toilet brush is going to be our chimney, so we take all the rubbish out of it. Get that in a minute. And that will fit on there like that. And then we'll have to cut that bottom off. If you do that, you're going to have to drill holes in here. Now I'm going to make this circle. Now we've made all the parts, we can put them together. And it's pretty much just stacking them up, to be honest. And then we can put those on in the holes we drilled here and pretty them up with a bit of straw. Okay, that's that section bolted together. And there's the bottom part that we made. We made. Now it goes together like that, but it goes together with that in between it, like that. So. This makes a rest for the fire, this is your ash pan, and this is your top chamber. And of course, we've got to bolt that together, and there will be gaps because of the wire. However, we have this. Now, it says on it, specialist materials, but actually, I just bought this in the big box store, B&Q. It's high temperature, up to 1200 degrees centigrade, and it is a silicate, not a silicon putty. So it's um, basically a water glass. So we put some of that, around here and around here and then we can bolt those two halves together. 
Okay, that's it. We just give that sealant time to dry and then we can light it up and see how it works. <laughs> there it is, earning its name Rocket Stove. So what's awesome about this thing is it's literally made from scraps, I mean two loaf tins and a toilet brush holder. So you can make these things from anything. Uh, this shows the absolute basics, I mean you can get really fancy, you can do things like redirect the vent gases so that they go around the U-bend or that they, they fully enclose that, you can put a lot of cement around them, there's a ton of things you can do with them. But this illustrates the basic principles that you need to adhere to when building your own rocket stove so that it earns the name rocket stove. So why bother making something like this? Well actually it's because um, you can make these things from just about anything. This took about an hour to make. Sure enough it's all thin steel so it's not going to last you your lifetime but it'll do the job until you can actually find something else to do. The other thing of course is it illustrates the principles of a rocket stove. We've got this burn chamber here then we've got this chimney creating a draft. We've got a bunch of holes right there. So what happens is the wood gets hot, it pyrolyzes, there are wood gases given off, and if they don't burn, they go straight up the chimney. Putting that there gives it the extra oxygen all those gases need to burn, and so we get a more complete burn. But the key to it is this holes here to allow that gas to burn. So we need a length of chamber that we can get some kind of pyrolysis, we need holes so we can get some extra air and then a length of chimney to create a draft. And you can see that there's no smoke coming out of here at all. The other thing is something like this uh, could actually just be stuck in a normal fireplace. So you've got a conversion you can do relatively easily to make a rocket stove that will fit at home. So that's why I made this for those reasons. Anyway, it's working a treat. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.